Oh, hello. I'm just reading a book about World War II airplanes. Anyways, last week, uh, Zach and I made a series of experiments called Will It Waffle? As a matter of fact, uh, we had a lot of things that we wondered about waffling. And the only thing we actually did waffle about was uh, whether or not to make it into a two-part episode. We decided that we would. Uh, what is going to follow are the last three waffles of the first series of Will It Waffle. I quite enjoyed them. Uh, we're going to begin with my favorite subject, roll credits. Finally, I'm going to be posting on this feed what a lot of people, mainly myself, have wanted me to show you. My sausage. It's, it's pretty thick. It's, I mean, I tell people it's eight inches long, but it's about six inches long, if it's not too cold out. And it's uh, original pork. What's up? Anyways, before Zach murders me, we're going to see if we can make a sausage waffle. Which, uh, if you check Urban Dictionary, it's actually code for, well, it's that thing where you do the, um... Anyway, uh, but not since college. So we're gonna take, uh, a nugget about this size. And that size. Open both these bad boys up. We're not going to spray this one down just because, uh, you know. You don't need to. It's going to be grease. Exactly. Sounds like it's going to have some words for you after that. Oh, that's too much. That's way too much. This is gonna take several minutes. Will it? It's sauce, you gotta cook it through, it's pork. I mean, yeah, but like, yeah, you're probably right, damn it. Yeah. All right, let's put a weight on these. Let's see what I have for the weight. This way it won't burn my hands. So you have to open it. Oh yeah, that'll definitely burn my hands. It's not stable surfaces. It's starting to drip right there. I see that, yeah. yeah it's, that uh, we're getting a lot of grease drippage from this one. I think it's just water. I don't know if it's just grease. I don't know if it go that far. Let's get that bad boy just mopped. By the way, while we're waiting, have you heard about the Dr. Seuss books? Oh, yeah, that they, uh... Yeah, there's grease all out! Is, is that your impression of something from Dr. Seuss? No, just... Just the grease. Market thing right now that the only people you can dump on without getting canceled are ethnic whites. Yeah. That being said... Okay, oh, okay. Alright. Ow! Every, a lot of steam. Every time. A lot of grease, too. Uh, it's actually near overflowing with grease. Uh, we'll wash these bad boys out. I don't care. Let's just, uh... So, wait. but here's the question, though. Is is this a waffle? Because you ju it's just pure sausage cooked in a waffle maker. Yes. Like, but there's no... You know, there's no, um bread there's no like i don't what makes a waffle a waffle that actually is a very good point because the other one the eggs don't have any bread in them either that's so true the omelet waffles are well this hey that sort of works we're just gonna let that just soak up the grease uh let's see if this is cooked all the way through huh looks like it yeah all right i'm gonna let it cool down and grab a fork uh because it's just blistering hot pork but it looks like uh at first pass you can in fact turn a sausage patty into a waffle this will waffle bone appetit 
It's gonna be really hot. All right, next we're gonna go to the three dumbest ideas for waffles, according to Zach. The first one is a macaroni and cheese waffle. So I've got a bunch of chopped up cooked macaroni right here. We're gonna add that into a bowl. We're gonna take the uh, cheese sauce that I've mixed up for just this occasion. It's the same kind of cheese sauce that was in the breakfast nachos a couple episodes back. Gonna stir in three big spoonfuls right there. And hopefully the pasta should be a nice binding agent. Maybe. We gonna try. I just don't see this going well. Ye of little faith. I laughed at Louis Armstrong when he said he was gonna go to the moon, Zach. And now he's up there laughing at them with that new rover we just landed. Alright. Speaking of perseverance, let's toss this bad boy in there. Did you just equate making mac and cheese waffles with sending a rover to Mars? No, we sent it to the moon, didn't we? No, Perseverance went to Mars. Uh, I did not read the entire Wikipedia article. Jesus Christ. All right, that's roughly heart-shaped. Oh, it's not happy with oh, that Oh, that is not liking that at all. It smells like cheese, oh. so it's, it's, it's still that in there. Damn. That's... It stopped hissing. Is that... That's probably not a good sign, right? No, I don't right? think so. It's probably all gummed up now because it's cheese. Well, in that case, my $5 investment may be shot. Oh, no. You know how many $5 I have? Like, seven $5. We're fine. And tomorrow's payday. I'll require slightly more $5. Let's see what it looks like. So, tomorrow. let's go. <laughs> okay. 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 We're going to give it a minute more. <laughs> I think it may be too hot and the cheese sauce has broken. Uh, maybe? I don't know, chemistry. Something's definitely cooking in there. I think it just needed less cheese sauce and it's gonna be a thicker cheese sauce next time. You know what? Here, we're gonna try this again. No, no, we're not. It's not. I got two waffle irons. That. All right, we're gonna add more pasta noodles. Dump that in there. What we need is a thicker sauce. So I'm going to add. Let's see, cheese, 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 cheese. cheese. A bag of sharp cheddar cheese. I don't, I don't think a thicker sauce is going to make a difference. I don't think it's going to work. You're just going to gum it up. Like, it's not going to... I don't... But see, the thing is, the enormous commercial possibilities of being the guy who invented a mac and cheese waffle uh, definitely suppress the risk of destroying a $5 waffle iron. I, I guess, but... Uh... All right. So we got a thicker cheese sauce, which just, just dump as a straight up cheese into it. And then I'm not gonna oil this one up because I think the cheese will have enough oil in it. Got all that cheese in there. Hold the line. This is why Flavor Town closed. It didn't close. It didn't. The Times Square restaurant closed. That was because of a very jaded review that was one-sided at worst. All right. Yeah, but it's still closed. It wasn't. It didn't die. It was pushed. <laughs> By the way, if you have a chance to read it, as a fan of Flavor Town, it's a bad review. As a fan it's, of reviews, it's a great an review. amazing review. It's amazing. It's it's good shit. All right, the light went off. Let's try this bad boy out again. Oh my god. Hey, hey, this actually looks like it's a solid form. All right, we're gonna unplug it. Uh, we're gonna be real careful around all this molten cheese grease. It's, wow, that actually looks fairly solid. It, it does, and I, I may have to eat my words. Well, even better, Zach, you'll eat a mac and cheese waffle. I don't know if that's better.
All right, it, it's separating. It's I'm not even plastic on that bad boy. Oh, it's starting to break up on this side. We're gonna go ahead and oh, that's a that's a good sign. Hey! All right, we're gonna put that one to the side and see how the other bad boy is doing. Didn't burn myself that time. Cat-like reflexes. I have successfully adapted to defense against man's greatest kitchen enemy, the mini waffle iron. Yeah, yeah, just give it another five. So. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, this. <laughs> Jesus. Cut. <laughs> Okay, so I'm uh, gonna do a little bit of cleaning on these uh, mac and cheese skillets right now. This is what the second one looked like, uh, the one that we thought would work better. Uh, as you can tell, it's, it's, it's well, fine. I thought it would work better. This very much a work in progress for the formula. This other one, though, looks like it is retained. Actually, now that it's dried off, it has retains its form and is still roughly heart shaped. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a soft yes. Macaroni and cheese, if properly formatted, will waffle. We're gonna go ahead and slice this bad boy in two. This reminds me a little bit of the fried macaroni balls my girlfriend in Texas, uh, her family made. Actually, if you dip this in marinara sauce, it would not be half bad. Bon appetit. Penultimately, we are, we are going to have uh, a pouch of jalapeno tuna. We're gonna take two of these. Actually, you know what? We're gonna do one of these. Uh, dump out all the nice chopped up jalapenos and tuna. These, by the way, are only a dollar at Walmart and uh, have 70 calories and 14 grams of protein, which means you can eat two of these out of the bag like a disgusting trash can animal and uh, have a reasonably healthy lunch. So I'd recommend it. I did it three times this week. And we're gonna plug this bad boy in. And tuna is a low fat food, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, add in the Pam spray because it's not gonna have something to naturally lubricate it otherwise. Who's your daddy? And I'm gonna give it a little bit of cheese as well just to work with as sort of like a binding agent. That didn't work too well on the last one. The last one was because I didn't grease the pan. I thought the cheese would provide the grease. I've already provided the grease. It is, uh, I don't want to sound like I'm too overconfident, Zach, but this idea is foolproof. It's gonna be some dripping because there's a lot of water and tuna. So we're gonna go ahead and just That's the technical term. It is also pre-cooked, so I don't know how long you need to cook this thing for because it doesn't really have a whole lot to do. I don't know, we'll try. See what 90 seconds and stuff looks like. Absolutely. Turn it back on and here we go. We're gonna open this bad boy up right now. Oh, yes! There we go. Oh yeah, that'll that'll work. I think what's the, the problem I think is just there's too much steam, so we're gonna let it cook off and it steam and whatnot. And then it should be just fine all in one piece. You gotta you gotta stay optimistic here. Alright, let's see. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay, so better. So better. Just gotta steer that into here, just What do you It's do? it's very close to being a waffle. Yeah, yeah. So like honestly, of all the things that have been or have not been waffles, this is the grayest area. Honestly, the hot tuna tastes good. But if it can be a waffle, yet as yet undecided. Maybe we should have like patted the tuna dry with like a towel. Like a tuna towel, if you will. And see if that could have changed anything. How do I not 
learn. I you just I'm impatient. That's my that's my curse. Okay, so this bits aside, uh, it looks roughly waffle shaped. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Fancy Feast's new uh, waffle campaign. Break me off a piece of that toxic waffle. <coughs> what? It doesn't look like it's non toxic. Like, I'm sorry, if like, we made anything that would poison somebody. Yeah, but I made a cat food reference, you made a Kit Kat reference. Yeah, bring me off a piece of the Fancy Feast, it's a cat food, right? That's... Or is that not a thing? It is. It's like the office is like, bring, bring me, me off a piece of that Kit Fancy Kat Feast. Bar. I thought it was Fancy Feast. No! Because in the office, Andy's like, bring me off a piece of that, and Jim's like, no one tell him, man. The enemy's like, Fancy Feast is a cat food. Yeah, yeah, no, no one tell him because that's not the jingle. Oh, shit, I don't... Watch cat food commercials. I don't have a cat. Jesus fucking Christ. I need to do I, This is news to me watch. that it is not break me off a piece of that fancy God, feast. God, Kit Kat bar doesn't rhyme. I'm going to stick your fucking hand in the goddamn. Jesus. Ugh. All right. You got to get real smooth with it. Okay. So as you can see, a lot of it is still in the pan. <laughs> but it tastes good. <laughs> and the piece that we have, vaguely waffle shaped. Holds enough of its form. It looks like a waffle that got mangled. Oh, Jesus. But it's still waffled. That means that we can officially say with... This is going to be... Yes, it will waffle. We're going to go ahead and put an asterisk by it right there. Ah, it's burning me. There we go. It will waffle. Bon appetit. <laughs>